right guys so this american man talks a lot about what's going on in the american society nowadays here on his channel so let's listen to this and see if i can relate to what he is saying in this video as a western european what's up y'all it's truth tiger and i'm gonna talk about how nobody has friends anymore you know, people used to just like have friends and be friendlier and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I have my own personal reasons for not having friends. And, um, you know, there's, there's, it's just gotten tougher. It's gotten tougher to have friends. It's gotten tougher to trust people. Um, I think people have just gotten more selfish. People have gotten more, just more in the matrix, I guess, just more about society, just more about politics, uh, more about the culture, I don't know. People are locked into these subdivisions, you know? People have these subdivisions they're very locked into and they're not willing to go outside of that or accept people outside of that or hear things outside of that, you know? Um, and on some level, you know, you can't open the door to everything. You have to have some filters, of course, but it seems like people are not really filtering, but just blocking anyone and everything out that is contrary to them, you know? And, like, people also are just... People are just not friendly anymore, you know? Everyone has so much social anxiety. People are so closed off. People are so... Oh man, people are. Oh. Yeah, I can relate to this as well here in Western Europe. You know, people are very close now, and uh, yeah, they're not that friendly anymore. Simply, you know, 20, 30 years ago, you know, you people were more easygoing. They were small talks. You could go, you know, out, uh, outside and talk to everybody. People were just more friendly. Today, people are close. They don't want to talk to you. They try to avoid other people. It's something I can relate to as well. People are driving so stupid here, um, but but yeah, people are so socially anxious and so closed off and so worried about other people judging them, or I don't even know. Like people are just not like open to new people. You know, you walk down the mm, street, agree. Yeah. most people will not smile at you. They'll be very like closed off. Who's he? We don't trust him. He's looking at us. He's walking by us. What's he doing? I don't want to share space with him. I don't want to walk on the same street as him. That's how most people's attitude is. Yeah, because people don't, you know, don't trust other people anymore because they think uh, other people want to take something from them, okay? They want to sell them something or they want to, to, to take advantage from them, you know? Uh, it's not like, uh, you know, back in the days when, you know, people were just talking to each other and sharing good times. Now it's, you know, about taking things from somebody else. And that's the feeling I have. Tell me in the comment below what you guys think. Deep down, it really is. They have a very, uh, not an inclusive attitude, a very exclusionary attitude, where they're very uh, scared of new people. It's a fear-based kind of way of being, mm -hmm. and they're trying to, like, keep new people out, like, keep new people from coming in, and... I can tell you, like, back in the day, if I was at the gym, the, the football game's on, I could probably go up to a couple random people and be, yo, dude, you watching the game, blah, 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 and, like, have a nice little conversation and chat it up and whatever. Yeah, true. But nowadays, I can't really do that anymore. People are so in their headphones, and they're so, like, they're so in their ego, too. They're so, like... They're in their headphones and in their phones as well, no? You go uh, outside, you see people, you know, watch, uh, looking at their phones every time. Well, I'm doing the same, but you know, it doesn't help people, of course, communicate and talk to each other. It's all communication through internet nowadays, sadly enough. They're seeing me as a threat, you know, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I can see that when I talk to people, where I, I talk, try to talk to them, like, who's he? Well, what's he doing? Trying to, trying to talk to me. What's going on there? You know, they're really doing a lot of that stuff, and it's just like, what the heck? I don't want to deal with it, you know, and... You know, the other reason is people are so are so fake. Like, I don't, I don't have friends right now, you know. Part of that is just dealing with narcissists and me really taking a hard line to say no toxic people in my life. 
and you know I'm, I'm a lot happier like that you know um but it, it's gotten to the point where people are so toxic and the friend group is so toxic and you're just gonna have so much like taken from you by being around most people that it's just like why have friends like i'm happier alone than having friends you know it's not ideal i mean it's like it's not ideal at all but I guess that just goes to show how toxic people have become. Social media, it's all about showing off. It's all about, you know, uh, showing to people you can do this, you have been there, you have driven this, you, you own this and so on. And uh, yeah, it's not genuine anymore. That's for sure. Uh, social media doesn't help. And uh, of course, with a lot of toxic people over there, uh, being fake, you know, uh, just about, you know, uh, showing and, uh, and pretending they are somebody they are not. Um, yeah, you, you don't, you simply don't want these people in your life, you know, give me a reason to have these people in your life. They're just here to show, to show something to, yeah, to, they live on social media more than they live in the real world. Okay. I do still have friends, real friends. I mean, but they, these are people I've known for um, over 20 years, but friends I made recently, I don't really have them, you know, uh, I, there are still people I talk with, but real genuine friends, real friends, people I can, I can call friends, and I've been calling friends for years now, are people I've known for 20 plus years. Because a lot of people are happier alone than they are happy, be happier being around people. So, you know, I think just, there's no community either. All the traditional communities have been broken down, um, be it the church or whatever, or this or that. Like everybody, everybody is just selfish and out for themselves. Nobody wants to be friendly or anything. You go to these churches and everyone just is like trying to go in and go out as fast as they can. They don't want. I think it's on purpose, you know. Governments they don't like uh, communities. You know why? Because communities are strong. Okay. Uh, Whereas if you are divided, if you are divided and alone, selfish, we are easier to to control, okay? I don't talk to anybody and I don't really know where people make friends. I mean, I know you can make friends places and I kind of have some kind of friends-ish right now. I don't know if I'd say I have friends, but I have people I'm like friendly with, you know? So I guess I could say that, but it's just like as an adult, like. I'm 31, like where do you go to meet people, you know? That's pretty easy, you know? <clears throat> Look at what your patients are, okay? Uh, your passion, uh, your passions, I mean, sorry. If you are into boxing, go out there and uh, meet people, you know, in a boxing club. If you are into cars, go to the car meets. It's still easy to talk to people in some context, you know? Uh, it's not difficult to meet people, but do you, be, do you want to be around these people? That's another question, very important question, no? Most likely not nowadays, or just a few people. Uh, but most people there are, you know, already people you, you avoid. Not always, not saying all people are, are to be avoided, but a lot of them still are, you know. They're kind of heavy people to handle with, okay. Or they want to take something from you, they want, they want to hang out with you because you have something they would like to have, and you know, it's about monkey uh, branching, you know, using you to to get something later on. <clears throat> it's that feeling I have, you know, I'm not saying everybody is like this here in Western Europe, but a lot of people are like that nowadays. I don't want to go to these bars or clubs because I've just, people are very closed off in those spaces. People are very fake. I don't very really fake, drink yeah. much alcohol, so it's not really my thing on that. And I've just seen so much fake stuff there and so much problem. And anyway, you know, there's no point going to the bars anymore. If you go to the bars, here, for example, here in Western Europe, what do you do? You spend a lot of money drinking, okay? Hurting your body, you're, you're spending money for no reason. And you know, people just talk shit. They talk about nothing, okay? Conversations are empty, okay? It's you, they are, these conversations, the bars are, are useless, you know, they, they, don't, they don't help you to grow, they are about nothing, they are just empty and just about drinking, about making fun of other people, that's all, avoid it, you know, you rather stay at home or hang out with your old friends, that's all.
problems and drama and liars and manipulators and I don't want to deal with it, you know? I don't want to deal with a bunch of people who think they're too good for me, you know? Who think they're too good for anybody, you know? And that's how it is with these people. They think they're too good for anybody, you know? And also, the people who do have friends are, like, so insulated in some friend group that they've had since elementary school, or we all met in college, or whatever, or, or we all work together. They're super insulated in that, and... They're basically just going to say, like, I'm just going to be friends with the people I happen to have landed around, and I'm going to just, anybody anybody who's outside of that, I don't trust, you know, and that's what most people are doing. It's sad, but I can understand it, you know, if you have known somebody for 20 plus years, at least you know the person, you know his behavior, you know his personality, you know if you whether you can trust this person or not, whereas if you have just met somebody, you never really know, you know. They can be nice for six months, a year, two years, and they can uh, they can radically change, you know, in you know, in a, in a snap of a finger. Uh, that's the problem, you know. You have to, you still, if you want to trust people, you still need some time, you know. Uh, trust is gain. It's not something you you give to people like that. Sadly enough, you know. I would like to trust everybody, you know, but you can't, you know. I've had some a few bad experiences. To trust somebody, it takes time. Okay, that's the way it is. That's how they're rocking and rolling. So, you know, it's a very, um, you know, there's probably not going to be a lot of new perspectives and uh, not a lot of new knowledge, and it's probably not going to be very fun to hang out with people like that. And just in general, like most people are so boring to hang out around. Mm -hmm. They just they don't want to do anything fun. They don't really have new hobbies or interests. Everything is just like the same mm -hmm. repeating yeah, thing yeah. over and over again. Yeah. And I don't want to be too doom and gloom. Like, good people do exist. I know they do. I've met them. There are cool people out there, but it seems like they are very few and far between. Mm -hmm. And most people are extremely, um, extremely mediocre. And not only that, but they want their egos fed. And they want you to affirm their egos. And they want you to tell them tell them that they're right. And they want you to like be this source of ego propping up. They they want supply. You know, they want that, I guess that narcissistic supply or they want attention or they want something that's like draining. Social media. It's all about having attention now. Okay? Getting attention. Why people are on social media, most of them, to get some attention they show their body they show what they have what they have done because they need attention you want to be they want to be you know validated by the entire world social media doesn't help that's for sure and it's just like i'm not just gonna like give that up to you you know like it's not it's not worth me spending my time together and getting my energy drained you know and the thing is like you know, the, the sum of its parts is greater than the, the, or the finished product is greater than the sum of its parts, you know? So if we can all come together and all click in and work together as a group, I mean, the potential of that is amazing. Like, mm -hmm. we could do so much awesome stuff, but, yeah, I agree. like, people are way too selfish. Like, your average person is incredibly selfish, deluded. And they have essentially deluded themselves in their own mind to prop up their ego so they don't have to consider that they might have caused problems or that they have to change or that they have to improve or whatever. Like, your average person is just, like, so caked in on the ego, you know? And, like, people also are not very discerning. A lot of people are just kind of on some dumb stuff, you know? And I'm, I'm a more intelligent guy, so... I don't really want to deal with the dumb stuff and the stupidity and whatever. And I don't know, you know, on some level, it's just like, I don't really fit in with this world, you know, and that's kind of a different topic, but just in general, like, you know, I don't feel like I really fit in the, fit in with this world. And, you know, even people who feel like they do fit in, it's just, this world's not about good stuff, you know? And most people are very connected to society and to civilization, and they really are 
you know, you know they, they, they really are like all about it. They really, really love it, you know. So, I don't know, you know, it's kind of hard for me to, I guess, maybe hang out with people like that. But I also just see how your average person is. And like I said, nine out of, nine out of ten people are like very unfriendly. Like, I look at people's faces, and they just look angry, and, like, they have this, like, big sign that says, don't talk to me, don't approach me. They have, it's like, mm. when I look at their expression, that, that's what it says. It's very angry, scared, standoffish, and it's like, all right, and someone's beeping their horn right there, you know? Maybe because they are struggling, they don't have time, they don't have energy, okay? So, uh, they rather keep their energy and their time for themselves, okay, to get ahead rather than give it to some other people uh, just to be friendly, okay? That's how I see it. And you know, we are all selfish in some ways, okay? We think about ourselves first, which is normal as human beings. What these people don't understand is that if you are think about other people as well, if you do good to other people, you will benefit from it later on as well, okay? And that's being selfish again, but selfish in a good way. Tell me in the comment below what you guys think. So there you go, you know, but that's kind of the discourse. It's just like people are angry at each other and that's kind of what it's like. It's like we're all these pigs in a pen and we're just shoving each other out of, out of the way to get to the slop. And Yeah, nowadays people are fed up, you know, with the high price of everything, the wage is not following, you know, the rising cost of living, high taxes. Life has become more difficult, harder, you know, you have to work harder, you have to... There are a lot of things to, to think about, you know. So people don't want to, you know, to give away energy, time. They don't care. They don't care about others anymore because they, they, they can't basically. But they could, but they, they have already too too much going on, you know. And we're all trying to see who can eat, you know, who can get more slop in or whatever, you know. And it's just like that's not going to lead to good community, you know. No, it's not. And. You know, it's so many people who are just liars and users and manipulators and they're playing games and they're trying to borrow all this money and they're trying to whatever, just, they're just not like, they're just stabbing people in the back. There's just so much of that stuff going on. And when you let one person like that into a friend group, guess what? It will destroy, destroy the whole yeah. friend group because they're spreading all these lies and doing all this backstabbing and stuff like that. You know, you need good people to kind of hold up hold up friendship and community and i really think like there's not a lot of good people left you know where where are the good people who like hold up the community and hold everything up like they're not there anymore and then you just have people who are greedy and trying to take all the money and trying to control and whatever and you're just left with a society of isolation you know i'm gonna get spiritual here but when people go to hell you know, hell is not a very big place, but it's got a lot of people down there. And guess what? No one's hanging out or talking to each other. You're shoulder to shoulder down there, but you're not friends with anybody. And that's how it feels, you know, especially in the big city. It's like there's people everywhere, but no one wants to be friendly. No one wants to connect. There's just this whole air of like, get away from me, you know? Mm. It's all kind of angry, scared, you know, just... Especially in big cities, here in the countryside or in other countrysides, people are usually simpler, you know, more genuine. You can still talk to your neighbors and everybody knows each other, you know. In the big cities, you are, you're, you're, you're around a lot of people, but no, nobody sees you. Nobody cares about each other, you know, it's kind of strange. Whereas in the, you know, in the, in the countryside, there are a few people, but at least they know each other. They, are, they still have a sense of community still. All families know each other. It's it's better. I think it's better to live in the countryside nowadays, especially if you, yeah, if you if you care about you know um, being around nice people or at least you know um, uh, feel like you are being part of something. Just kind of vibe where it's like, all right, you know. And I heard back in the day people used to be friendly. People used mm. to know their neighbors and stuff. Like still the case in the countryside. I don't know my neighbors. You know, I mean, I know a few of them, I guess, but by and large, I don't know my neighbors. You know, and I don't know if we could all just be friendly and you could just talk to people and 
you can walk. To, I mean, I talk to some random people sometimes, but it's pretty rare, you know. But if we could all just hang out and talk to each other and be friendly, you know, you got a dog, let me, let me pet your dog. And It's so rare that they don't want to talk to you because you go out there, speak to other people, but only a few people do that. That's why people are scared saying, what, why is this guy talking to me, you know? I'm not used to this. What do, does he want from me? That's their problem, okay? You know, that would just be so nice. That'd be heaven on earth. But this whole thing where people are so closed off and distrustful and like, I get it. Like people, pe I mean, on the aggregate, like people are evil and you got to be careful. You know, you don't mm. want evil people to come in your life. I get it. You know, I feel, mm. I feel the same way, but just this whole overarching overly defensive weird kind of attitude people have like we have to come out of that because how long are we going to last like this you know like how mm. long is this going to be able to stand up for you know how long is our society going to be able to keep functioning like this like and the thing is is like the more we're like this and not together as a community the more we need the government the more we need the system the more we need the matrix the more we need society the more we need civilization, you know? Whereas if we could come together as a community and just be cool with each other and stuff, like, and we could work things out together, we wouldn't even really need all this government and stuff, but because we can't, like, we need it, you know? Um, we do, and I I'm concerned about the future, you know? I I'm legit scared about what the future holds because... As I was saying, you know, governments, they don't really like communities because communities are strong, okay? Um, they want us to be alone, lonely and uh, scared. Think about this for a minute. I mean, what's going to happen? Like, how are kids going to make friends, you know? Like, how are they going to make friends with each other? Like, how is that going to happen? Because... Now it's going down to the kids and everyone's on their phones and on their technology mm, and all scary. this stuff and they're blocking everybody out. It's happening at a young age and their parents aren't teaching them how to be friendly because their parents don't know now. And, you know, people also, I think, because of technology, I think people have lost social skills and I think people have sure. forgotten how sure. to interact with humans in an authentic way. Social skills, you know. Social media, internet, phones, they kill social skills. You know, because you're not used to talking to other people anymore, to other humans. So you, it's kind of weird when you talk to other people, you know. So I'm aware of this, so I try to talk to new random, uh, random you know, uh, strangers quite often. Because I'm aware, you know, internet, computers, social media, they kill social skills. It's a real thing. And it's even more scary when it comes to kids, you know, if you have kids, yeah, you don't want them to be this kind of, you know, nerds sitting on the, on the internet, looking at their phone every time and not talking to each other. This is scary. I think because people are so wrapped up on social media and getting clouded and stuff like that, like mm. they just don't understand how to like have a normal conversation. Yeah, true. And I just think people are so, like, they're so into themselves. They're like, I have to spend time with this other person, and I can't just be all about me. Like, I don't know, you know. Like, at some point, friendship does require some kind of, like, sacrifice, some kind of selfishness, self, uh, selflessness, you know. And I'm not talking about these fake friends who are going to stab each other in the back and stuff. Like, real friends require that and I think most people don't want to do that you know mm -hmm. they don't um, I think we're headed toward a very lonely society I think we're headed toward I mean you look at the numbers and stuff people aren't getting married Pe scarcity it's all about scarcity you know uh, talking to friends requires energy time you can spend on something else doing something else such as watching your phone or making money which we need so bad nowadays because of the rising cost of living people aren't having kids be like yeah it's crazy th this is serious stuff like people are not getting married 
They're not having kids. Mm. They're not having friends. They're not having community. They're not having human connection. Mm. Like, people are not ha- wanting to have human connection anymore. Like, that's going out the window. And yeah, I think because true. human consciousness has, like, gone so low, the average person does not have very much love in their heart. And the things have just kind of gone down, down, down that people are just very isolated and everyone is just on their own kind of iceberg, you know, and I wish we could hang out and get together and do stuff and whatever. Mm. Like people have to come right. I'm not going to hang out with just anybody, but you know, I wish people would just be just kind of more friendly and more yeah. chill and, mm. you know, just more easy. You know, mm. people are just not easy going. People are jacked up, you know, people are jacked up. People are weird people are not with it in the right way they're not on the right stuff they're not doing the right stuff they're got the wrong energy about them they hang around the wrong energy it's a lot of just the wrong kind of energy energy with people you know so it's tough you know and i understand that like you don't want to mix with the wrong energy so you got to be careful with who you hang out with you know and the thing is if it's just the wrong energy everywhere everyone is going to have to isolate because if you can't trust anybody, and that's kind of where I'm at now, like, who can I trust? It's like, all right, like, it's kind of like... Yeah, but as a matter of fact, you can't trust people, you know, in the beginning, okay? As I was saying before, it takes some time. It doesn't mean you can talk to them. It doesn't mean you can hang out with them, but you still have to be careful in the beginning. The, let's say the two, three first years, you know, have to be careful. We don't really know them yet. It takes time to, to build trust, I think. It kind of makes it like, all right, I'm not just going to like be open to everybody now. You know, I have to like kind of be careful. And that's the way it's going to get. You know, people are going to, because nobody trusts anybody and nobody wants to hang out with anybody. It's like people are going to close their doors, you know. And people have no sense of like community and like us all being in this together. They don't think that at all. It's all, they're all like about themselves. And I really think that, like, people have just become so much more selfish and so much Mm -hmm. more just about themselves and, you know, no room for a friend, no room for that, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I think also, like, the politics and all that stuff, too. People used to be able to disagree on politics and still be friends, and people used to not maybe let that stuff be as big of a deal, but... Nowadays, it's just like any excuse to break off the friend group, you know, any excuse to do that. And it seems like people are more like, I don't know, it seems like people are like wanting to cut people out. It's like it makes them feel powerful. I don't know, you know. Not necessarily, but, you know, if a so-called friend, a so-called friend, you know, uh, supports a uh, war criminal or, you know, uh, uh, goes way too crazy with some t- stuff or is he very brainwashed you know i mean he's always talking always talking about politics always talking about this uh, this uh, you know war criminal this dictator and blah 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 you know when people are, get so brainwashed you don't want to hang out with them anymore you know it's uh, i'm okay to not talk about politics at all with friends you know but some people they are so brainwashed you can't you can't stand them anymore you know so i kind of disagree with this but the comment below tell me guys what you think but i don't know you know people are getting too way way too brainwashed maybe because of social media because of the propaganda uh everywhere in the west and the east everywhere is propaganda now so people get brainwashed they can you know they can keep some distance with uh, with information online and uh yeah they they get unbearable you can bear these people anymore because they're so brainwashed you know it's it's crazy. So I'm not saying that it's their fault, but yeah. Still, I don't want this kind of people in my life. You know, I want to take it easy. But I've had to cut my own people out for reasons for them being narcissists and them being very bad for me in my life. I'm not talking about that, but it seems like people want to fall out just over some politics or over the max masks or over the vaccine, or over some politics, or whatever, and, uh, man, you know, and a lot of it also comes down to the families, too, like, 
like my like family like i never met my cousins i mean i met them like maybe once or twice as a kid and then later as an adult but i never really had like a family that was had an emphasis on like you know being around other people and stuff and i think a lot of people's family is just a very isolating thing to begin with and yeah it's the same here in western europe okay i'm quite lucky but a lot of families here in western europe they are they're fucked up you know they people don't talk to each other and uh they don't like each other a lot of you know uh, problems in in their families and you no know, they are very isolated you know that's for sure i think it's a western problem i haven't seen that in other countries uh, i'm the first to criticize other countries non-western countries but still in non-western countries there's still more a you know a sense of family and community uh, in Asia, even in Russia, in Eastern Europe still, you know, they are more family oriented than we are here in Western Europe or in, in the US. Basically, the US and Western Europe are the same, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I can relate to this as well. I don't know, you know, but people don't have friends anymore. People are, they just... It's and getting harder. People are becoming very isolated. Yeah. People are becoming very lonely and very disconnected. So, especially the newer generation, okay, um, um, from 18, 25 years old now, they are very selfish, very isolated. They are kind of strange, even to me. You know, I'm not that old. I'm not even 40 years old, but still, you know, when I talk to a very young guy, I mean, under 25. He's kind of weird to me anyway, you know, he, the way he, he behaves, the way he thinks, he's, he's different, you know. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think in a comment below. Smash that like button and uh, share this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Consider it. A lot of you guys are watching my videos but haven't subscribed yet. Check the links below in the description under this video. And uh, yeah, leave your comment. Talk to you soon. Have a good one, guys.